today on Be Something Wonderful, how to live it and be it until you make it. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. I got an email from a subscriber this morning that said, Tom, this whole idea of living in the end, of living in the wish fulfilled, it feels like it's it's fake to me. It feels like it's phony. I feel like I'm, I'm, it's this idea of faking it till you make it. I was wondering if you could just unpack that a little bit more today. Well, guys, we're going to unpack that and more. Here's the thing. It, this idea, it's, it's, not that, it's, not that the, it's not about something being real or fake or something being real and unreal. It's not about that. It's about where you put your attention as consciousness. Remember, you are consciousness. You are all that is. Where you put your attention in awareness. Wherever you put your attention, awareness, and your light of consciousness is real. Hear this. And the reason it feels fake to you is because you have your, your, your focus on the desire versus the fulfillment of it. Hear this. This is a big distinction. You're getting attached or, or attached to the actual desire versus the feeling of the desire or the wish being fulfilled. That's what you're going for. You, you need to go for the, the, the feeling of wish fulfilled, the state of wish fulfilled, not putting your focus on the desire. Why? Because when you put your focus on the desire, that, mo- that gives you the feeling of lack of it not already having it physically in your hands or not already being that person that you want to be in evidence of it in physical reality. Remember, you are it when you feel it. Right? You are it when you put your attention on the state of feeling that wish fulfilled. That's a big distinction. That's why you feel like it's faking it. Right? When you live it and be it, then you will make it because you're living the feeling of wish fulfilled. Right? When you have the feeling, it is already done. Yes, there's a time delay. And yes, 3D reality is dense and that it takes some time, but it will manifest, right? So you, remember, you can only create a new reality and a new version of yourself that you feel is real already. You must feel it real already because when you do, it is real, right? This, you're, once you put your attention, your, your awareness and your consciousness of it with that feeling, it is real. Remember, you are consciousness. You make it real. Not, the, not that because you can actually see it with your 3D eyes and physical reality that makes it real. It's because you put your attention and your awareness as the light of consciousness on it. You enter into it. You occupy it. You move to it. You allow it. You receive it, right? Remember, Creation, manifesting, is all about focus and then letting it go. Focus and then no attachment, letting that desire go, giving, surrendering that desire to all there is, to the infinite, to your higher self, to bring it forth as a manifestation in 3D reality, right? So it's about really, the, the state of wish fulfilled is about being lighthearted and carefree. It's a relaxed a- attention. It's a relaxed attention because you know it's done. You're, you're in the feeling. Right, you're in the feeling place. Remember, real power comes from releasing and letting go. It's from lacking nothing, right? Powerless or, or force or fear is about holding on tightly, trying to control. Real love, real love is releasing and letting go, right? Fear and force is powerlessness. That's tightly holding on to your desire or trying to control it or wanting to see it now, right? So. Let's unpack this a little bit more. Remember, when you have strong, it's not about, it's not about down, downgrading your desire or, or abandoning your desire. Strong desire is good. Just remember, strong desire also creates strong resistance, right? All desire is born of the unwanted. So when it's born, that strong desire creates strong resistance at the same time. So it's always about, manifesting is always about focus, focusing on your desire, and then letting it go. Letting go the resistance of having it, right? Of having to have it, having to see it. Letting go of the resistance of needing it. Letting go of the resistance of lack and fear, right? It's, it's without effort. It's focused without effort. It's gentle because you know it's already yours. You have that feeling. It's a consistent intense, not tense, intense, not tense, attention and focus on feeling of wish fulfilled. Not the wish 
or the lack of your desire. That's big. Remember, it's the, it's the attention, the consistent attention or intense attention on the feeling, not the actual wish or the desire. Because when you put it on the actual wish or the desire, now you're focused on the lack of it. Define, and so what is it really about? It's about defining your emotional or feeling state from within first, not from the external or 3D reality or not from having to see something or have something, right? Maintain that awareness of what feels good. And, and, and then no matter what happens in the 3D world, you can't be moved. When you maintain that feeling of feeling good, feeling fulfilled, feeling fulfilled already, then nothing that, that the 3D world can show you or not show you will ever move you. You're already there. Wow, this puts you in absolute control. So, and, and I know you mentioned that, you know, I, it feels exhausting. And I pointed this before. Why does it feel exhausting? Well, because, because trying to focus is exhausting. Trying to focus on and feel something that you think is fake, real, is, is resistance, right? Instead of that, just simply declare that it's mine. Make the decision to have it. Set that intention that it's yours, it's mine. I'm setting, you're putting your awareness, you're putting your attention on the decision that it's mine, the choice that it's mine. That's strong intention, plus a relaxed intention, plus a relaxed attention to it. No attachment. You focus and let go. That is the powerful state of allowing receiving. Strong intention, strong desire, plus relaxed attention. What's relaxed attention? Already knowing it's yours. Making the decision that it's yours. Making the decision to have it. And then walking in that conviction. That's a powerful state of receiving and allowing. There's no attachment. You're focusing and then you're letting go. Right? Intense focus on that inner state of feeling fulfilled. Not tense, but intense. It's an intense feeling of fulfillment, of gratification, of gratitude. You're, you're expressing gratitude for that fulfilled state, right? Neutral, and what else does this do when you're, when you're in that state? It also neutralizes and dissolves any judged negative or opposite influences in 3D reality. When you're in that wish fulfilled, when you're maintaining that strong intention with that relaxed attention or that detachment, you're in a place where you know it's fulfilled. Any negative events or anything you judge as negative or opposite influence in 3D realities dissolve or become neutralized when you stand in that state right? Being present with your wish fulfilled, not tense, not tense concentration, right? It's really just being present with that feeling of wish fulfilled. That's a powerful state of allowing, right? So it's not about resisting the unwanted, and it's not about efforting or struggling to maintain or hold on to the wanted. That's what causes all the exhaustion, Right? Why are you exhausted? Because you're resisting the unwanted or you're struggling and efforting to, to maintain the wanted or hold on to the wanted or attract the wanted. All of that causes exhaustion. Right? Remember, you don't need to hold on to or maintain the positive energy of the wanted. It's already who you are. Hear this. That's why all the spiritual teachers say that creation is finished and everything's within you and you already have everything that you want. The reason why everything is poor, it's all pure positive energy. So you already have that. There's no reason to hold on to it or look for it or grab it or, or grasp for it. It's already who you are. The reason we feel we have to look for it or grasp for it is hold on to it is because we have resistance of that unwanted. We bring that, we, we turn this pure positive focus into a negative focus. Hear that, right? Because remember, negative energy doesn't exist. It just goes through our filters of belief and, and what we believe it is, right? Gently let go of the negative without resisting it or rejecting it. Why? Because that, that, that's just a perception. That energy that you, that you think is negative is really pure positive energy that you put through your filters and judged it as negative, right? It's all one energy. So gently let go of that negative belief or that negative feeling and then resist, don't resist or negative, accept it and release it. When you do, all that is left is that pure positive energy. That's all it was anyway. There's no negative energy. It's only your belief that determines it, right? You transform that negative energy because it's already positive energy by judging righteously, by directing it to the feeling of wish fulfilled, 
right? It's all that skepticism. It's all that, it's all that, the, 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 that idea, those beliefs that, that, that there's going to be something wrong. It can't be this easy. It is this easy. You were born by that grace of that pure positive energy. That's who you really are. You've just got to allow to be it. You've got to allow yourself to live it. You've got to allow yourself to receive it, right? You choose where you get to direct your attention and focus. Always. Always. So, so if you have a lot of doubt, if you think things are fake, or if others are doubting you, and, or you feel the 3D world is preventing you from being or having your desired state, then you haven't yet made the firm commitment within to choose it. Right, that's all you're really doing. When you, you put your attention and focus on the choice to be it and live it. When you do, then, then it's done. But if, you, if there's a lot of doubt, or you feel the others are doubting you, or you feel like the 3D world's preventing you from being or having it, that means you haven't made the choice yet. You haven't put, you're putting your attention or your, or your awareness on that that you don't want on things that you believe are preventing you. Nothing is. Nothing's preventing you from having it or for choosing it now. Your attention is energy. That energy is consciousness and awareness. What you put your energy or attention on creates your reality. It's not about faking it, right? Your attention is energy. Your awareness is energy. You are energy. You are consciousness. Whatever you are, that you are powerful beyond measure. Whatever you put your attention on creates your reality. That's how to be it and live it create it and, 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 until you make it. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of Higher Consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, like and share our videos, that's how we get our message out. Hit us up on Facebook at Be Something Wonderful, on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen, our website at TomKaren.com or BeSomethingWonderful.com or write me anytime at info at BeSomethingWonderful.com. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, with great love, this is Tom. See you soon.